ีค่ะ Welcome to Move On. Today we'll be taking a look at the highlights of the week in this new roundup. ทวีสินวิษณุโยธิน spokesperson for the government's COVID-19 center says the emergency situation decree, which has been in effect during the coronavirus crisis, will not be revoked yet. However, certain measures can be eased. As Thailand's neighbors still find large number of cases, and the number of cases in Southeast Asia is still rising, the loosening of restrictions will be considered based on two factors: data of cases in the area and necessity to open the premises. If the premises are allowed to reopen, safety measures must be implemented. According to Anutin Chan b i r k u n Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Public Health. The Prime Minister has received a proposal from medical experts concerning the easing of certain measures, and the Prime Minister will take a decision next week. The current emergency situation decree came into force on March 26 and expires on April 30. The Civil Aviation Authority of Thailand, or CAAT, has met with representatives from airlines. As many prepare to resume domestic flight services on May 1st, employing safety measures as designated by CAAT, such as seat distancing, the wearing of masks at all times, and no in-flight food and beverage service. The CAAT allows airlines using large aircraft to sell tickets for every other seat, and only 70% of the seat capacity of planes can be sold on small aircraft. As airlines can accept fewer passengers, they are now permitted to increase ticket prices from around 5 baht per kilometer traveled to a maximum of 9 baht 40 s t a n g As for international flights, no airline is resuming service because Thailand still under lockdown until April 30. 700,000 more Thais have received the 5,000 baht hardship subsidy from the government. Among them are 200,000 who feel an appeal after the first round of payments. The subsidy is given to freelancers who have not been registered under the social security system for three months. Earlier, n e r a m o n p i n y o s i n b a t the prime minister's office spokesperson, said the 5,000 baht subsidy for Thais affected by COVID-19 outbreak is to be extended. To 14 million people instead of the forecast 9 million, according to the criteria proposed by Ministry of Finance. According to Mrs. n e r u m o n the government received more registrations than previously expected, with some freelancers automatically and wrongly recognized as farmers or university students. Part-time students who work are entitled to receive subsidy as well. All households are to be given a discount on electricity bills during the COVID-19 outbreak. Household with a 5 m p e r w a t t h o u r meter can use 150 units free of charge. Households with 15 m p e r m e t e r using between 151 and 3,000 units of electricity can pay the amount bill in February, and the rest of the amount will be discounted by 50%. The same rules apply to those who use more than 3,000. Units with the deduction of 70% for specific affected businesses like hotels and residential rentals. They can extend their payment period without interest for up to six months. For other services like telephones, the National Broadcasting and Telecommunication Commission or NBTC will give 100 minutes of free calls to any network for 45 days, as well as free internet at maximum speed of 100 megabit for 30 days. To 2 million households. Coming up next, we bring you a story of mobile units to take sample from people who may have COVID-19 at their front door.
Welcome back to Move On. The Bangkok Metropolitan Administration or BMA has joined Mala Panda, a popular medical laboratory technologist, to roll out mobile units to take samples from people who may have COVID-19 at their front door. Let's find out more in this report. This man is a medical laboratory technologist named Pak Phum Det Hasadin. He is now working at the National Blood Center of the Thai Red Cross Society. However, Thai netizens recognize him as Malap from his Facebook page, Malap Panda, which has over 2 million followers. At first, this man of science created the Facebook page just to promote and inform about his career. Later, he noticed a lot of strange beliefs about health among Thai citizens. So, Malat came up with the idea of making his Facebook page useful for the public. Since he's on duty for the whole night, he chose the word panda to represent his identity because of the animal's dark eye circles. His Facebook page has been contributing accurate and reliable health information referred from scientific sources. The unique presentation has put the popularity of his Facebook page and he has become a popular influencer among Thai netizens. When the COVID-19 outbreak hit Thailand, Mala Panda had to act. So, the Malap team joined with the Bangkok Metropolitan Administration or BMA to provide a mobile unit conducting COVID-19 swab tests for those at breaks. ตอนนี้ยังไม่มีใครทําเรารู้สึกว่าอันเราก็เลยมองว่าทําไมเราไม่ไปหาเขาเลยแนวคิดนี้กทมก็เข้ามาสนับสนุนแบบว่าเอ้ยทํารักษาเขาให้ได้ไวๆจะได้ไม่เสียชีวิตใช่มั้ยครับแล้วก็คนทั่วไปก็จะได้ไม่ไม่เสี่ยงด้วยเพราะคนที่ตรวจเจอเช
This is to break the spread of the virus by separating patients from the community and transferring them for treatment. These proactive mobile units also reduce the concerns of people who are not yet infected. This week, we have an opportunity to talk to our exclusive guests on how consumer behavior has changed due to the COVID-19 outbreak and how businesses react to the new normal. Uh, this pandemic will accelerate how data and how digital play a critical part in people's lives. So which means like, Either you're going to be the, in the aging society or you are in the uh, labor workforce society, you can see the change in this one. So which means like the way that uh, people consume uh, products or consume uh, content or anything else has been totally changed. We have seen the consumer behaviors or consumer journey change dramatically uh, because once they cannot be uh, moving around, everything can be locked down from retail store or uh, any places around uh, that journey. So that creates a new customer journey. So we can see uh, the new segment of consumers like work from home professionals or market observer for those who are looking for uh, the business opportunity among this situation or those who are uh, home well-being, or those who are uh, the health and wealthy, that they try to adjust to their home, for example. So this type of uh, positive or neutral uh, segment of people that they can adjust themselves. Okay, first of all, uh, they need to adjust business and marketing plan to align with the new customer journey. In the past, uh, they can see uh, the conventional customer journey, like uh, one customer may you know, wake up from home and then uh, take the sky train and go to work at the office, but now everything has changed. They just wake up and they just uh, you know, stay and work in their rooms, and then they order everything into their home, for example. The second one is to revisit and reallocate budget to, to meet with the new customer journey which means like from uh, the big offline budget need to be cheap and chain for online case and learn. For some business uh, sectors that they never been familiar with uh, online or omnichannel or social commerce or e-commerce, they need to tap into that one and case and learn on this. This is going to be a huge opportunity for them. The third one to prepare omnichannel uh, strategy and execution and also manpower. Uh, the fourth one is on deep dive with data. Now data will play a critical role in driving customer journeys and driving uh, brands or any business to win the game during the pandemic and also after the pandemic. You can see the significant change from mobile first experience, from customer experience on data as well. Last but not least on uh, applied technology. One, you uh, use a lot of uh, online or you need to have more technology to help support you and to help you win more business with uh, the new customer journey as well. And that's all for today. Thank you for being with us and we hope to see you every Sunday at 8.30pm on NBT World.